Today we're back in State College, Pennsylvania, checking out one of the biggest indoor antique malls I've ever been to. A lot of people set up outside on Wednesdays there. Before we go inside and find this absolute treasure, let's check out what we have out here. Basketball cards, football, football, dollar each. Some turtles VHS tapes too. Look at that. I have that already though. Hey, PS. <laughs> Those are cool. One here on the 9th of September. Are you? How old are you? 76. Yeah, he's about the same age as me. Huh? He's about the same age as me then. Yeah. How much is your Jeter? I got 50 on it. I keep you 50. running. <laughs> if that was a PSA. Yeah, it's a BGS. It, yeah, it'd be, be nine worth a nine and a half or a ten. Is it rough under grading? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good looking card, especially for 93 per deck. Those oh, cards are usually, all, they're usually all bricked up when you open yeah. the backs of those. No, no, that's a good one. There. Man, the dinosaurs. What is that? Uh. Land of the dinosaurs. No. How much that is? That's pretty cool. So, after walking around outside for a little bit, not really finding too much. Our travels took us inside this building, and man, is this place massive. Like I said before, the biggest antique mall that I've ever been to, two full floors. I feel like I got lost in there at least twice. Just vendor after vendor everywhere on both floors, and tons of collectibles, and we found some pretty awesome stuff. Check it out. Dude, Family Man is perfect strangers in full house trading cards for five bucks. <laughs> that is so sick. And what else do they have? Do they have ABC? ABC soaps trading cards and Maverick trading cards, dude. I, I gotta buy those laughs, freaking Steve Urkel and stuff. Like Perfect Strangers, dude. That's so sick. No, I saw it. Hey. Well, look at these phones. Oh yeah, I did see one of those the other day. Generator. Oh man, how much is that? The box is beat, but dude, that's sick. I don't see those very often. 35 bucks. Not a bad price. More turtles, loose figures, Ghostbusters 2 cards for 325. Yikes. That T2 is pretty sick. So far, we seem to have struck gold with this booth. There's a Turtles party wagon from 1988, the Playmates vehicle. So looking around some more, I see some old board games and a lunchbox. And then we also have some more TMNT stuff. A lot of TMNT stuff in this booth, some vehicles, some loose figures. And looking up, to my surprise, a mint on card, real Ghostbusters, Screaming Heroes, Egon Spangler. I could not believe it. I never, ever see real Ghostbusters stuff out in the wild. $50 price tag on it, but above Egon, there was a tag or a sign that says 30% off everything in this booth. I was like, wow, that is freaking awesome. And next to Egon, there was a Kenner Beetlejuice on the card up there. I think it was like 47 bucks, but pulled this out. This caught my eye. Lawn Order Pistols. I think this is from the 70s by the looks of it. I definitely remember these as a kid, these die-cast metal guns that were usually like in grocery store uh, machines for like a quarter. That definitely took me back to see those. Very cool. Looking around some more for any more RGB stuff. Saved by the Bell board game and some other ones. Cookie Monster, uh, Mask there, and then saw this Muddy Max playset, Skull Mountain. How many of you guys remember this? This is from the mid-90s. This is one I've always wanted. It had a $25 tag on it. Never owned it as a kid, but always thought it was really cool. Definitely liked Money Max as a kid. 
So looking around some more, and I could not help myself but uh, examine this Screaming Heroes Egon further. The one, the two that I have now for that line are uh, unpunched. So generally, I try to get them all that way. But 30% off, 50 bucks. I could not turn that down for this Egon figure. Usually goes for like 50 to 60 on the card like that on uh, eBay. So they just seem to continually increase in price. So that was one that uh, I think was going to come home with me today. And looking around some more, some TMNT collector's cases. There's a stack of cards there. I think that a Pete Rose 89 Tops manager card for three bucks. So we continued on. And there's an old Bell Atlantic truck. I definitely had that as a kid. Looking around some more, this shelf was completely full of Star Wars merchandise. All kinds of different stuff. Promotional, promotional stuff from Taco Bell from the late 90s. And uh, Jurassic Park watch there. Used to have one of those. Pretty cool. And then turned the corner and found some more boxes of cards. These ones were labeled Pirates, Football, Basketball, Baseball Stars, and then a bulletin board there with a bunch of singles. And nothing really that caught my eye so much. Um, and we got some bobbleheads down below in the showcase. I went through the cards, and I found an Aroldis Chapman rookie for a quarter, but that was really the best thing I saw in there. Then making our way back downstairs, we stumbled upon a booth that would drain my wallet completely. Tucked away in a little corner of the building, another sports card vendor. Tons of stuff, lots of singles in the showcases, some pretty notable rookie cards. He had football grab bags down there, and also some boxes and some mixed autographs. A lot of stuff to look at. See a Derek Jeter, 93 tops gold rookie that was 50 bucks off center. But uh, great card nonetheless. Autographs. We got a ton of packs to look at here, ranging from the last few years. You got 2019 Optic packs. You got Fat Packs of Heritage. Don Russ from last year. You got 19, 2019 Don Russ. Football. There's basketball. This is like the vintage showcase over here. You got a Clemente, 55 Tops rookie card, 57 Clemente. I see a Gary Carter, 75 Tops, a Molitor rookie. Ozzy Smith, rookie, Henderson, Boggs, Gwynn. There's a Sun Faded Jeter 93 Select Pocket. Lots of stuff to look at. I didn't really see any rookie cards that I needed for my collection down there. Some nice autos there and also a bunch of 62 Tops cards. The Chris Bryant rookie card. So I looked around a little bit more and wanted to show you guys more what's in there. And didn't really see anything for myself. There is a rack box of 89 Don Russes for $2 a pack. And... My jaw dropped when I walked over here. These are two big showcases full of nothing but boxes and singles. A lot of football up top. I wanted to show those to you guys. A bunch of football boxes from the last few years. And then we got on the bottom, see a little baseball thrown in there. Tops Chrome and uh, also Gallery and Fire as well. There's a Chronicles box. Those are on fire right now. And this is a showcase that really caught my attention. A lot of older wax in here. On the top shelf, we have some football and also some basketball packs mixed in. And some newer stuff on the right-hand side, some 2020 tops, Don Russ, and 2019 oh, tops. Lots of early 80s stuff. You see our 81 Fleer, 82 Don Russ, 83 Don Russ. But let's take everything back and check out what I came home with out of these showcases. We're back from the flea market. As you can see, I got my hands on a good bit of vintage wax. So very excited about that. But before we dive into each one of those boxes, let's check out and get a closer look at this Egon Screaming Heroes figure from the Real Ghostbusters toy line. I was stoked to find this in the wild. Real Ghostbusters stuff is very difficult to come across. At least in my neck of the woods, it's very hard to find. Uh, this one is punched, but this was 30% off the sticker price of 50 and the sticker is still somewhat on there. The lady at the antique mall just ripped it off real quick. I need to get some sticker lifter and put that on there to finish a job, but I'm uh, very excited to find that one in the wild and add that to my RGB collection. Very, very nice one there. And this is one you saw in the video already, but <laughs> this is pretty hilarious. We're going to rip this one night here, hopefully sometime soon. Laughs TV trading cards, as you can see, you saw in the video, Perfect Strangers. You got Steve Urkel from Family Matters on there and Full House. I don't think I've ever seen these before, not that I remember at least, but these look pretty ridiculous and they look like a good time. We got 36 packs in there. It's an 80 card set, so 
Maybe we can put that set together. Hopefully there's even more shows than just what they have pictured, but I thought it was pretty hilarious. It was five bucks. I couldn't pass it up. And then outside, a purchase you guys didn't see. I thought this was pretty cool. Megaforce diecast metal anti-aircraft tanks. Maybe some of you guys remember these from your childhood. Made by Kenner, my favorite toy company of all time. is now defunct. Uh, this was two bucks. So something like this uh, from a company that's long gone. $19.89, $2 on the card is something I will never pass up. So I thought that was pretty cool. Pick up for only $2. Now let's take a closer look at all this vintage wax. I'm so excited to come across all these. There's a bunch of boxes that I've been wanting to rip for quite a while and just kind of gave up hope because these prices continue to skyrocket. It's absolutely crazy. The very first box we'll take a closer look at here. Upon close examination, it's not marked, but it's a box of tops. And opening the box, we'll unveil that it is 1983 top cello packs. We have 28 cards per pack. I bought every one that they had, which was nine packs in total. And we will be ripping these probably next week. And we're going to do a mixer, and we're going to mix these 83 tops with 85 tops. I bought all the packs that they had, regular wax packs, 85 tops. These boxes have really surged in price. Last year, you could get a box of these for about 200 bucks, and um, now they are closer to 500. So I bought all 10 packs. We will mesh these 10 packs, 85 tops, with the 83 cello, and we will do a break on those. Hopefully next week. So that takes care of those two. I'm very excited about this one too. I, I was gonna buy a box of 85 Flirt to National last year, and I think they're around 200 dollars. Now it seems like they're closer to 400. This one is only missing two packs, so I bought the whole box. And as you can see, these were in a store at one point, 35 cents back in 1985. We will be ripping these, looking for Pocket Rookie Card, Clemens Rookie, Earl Hershiser, Eric Davis, Saberhagen, they're all in there. Um, very stoked about that. That'll be a future break coming up here soon. This is one I've been watching for a while that I've wanted to rip, but these prices have also kind of soared as of the last few months. 1982 Fleer. The set with the Cal Ripken rookie card and also Lee Smith and Lee Smith error card and maybe John Littlefield reverse negative. I think there's 34 packs in here, so I bought all of these as well. Good old 82 Fleer. Very excited to rip these at some point on the channel. But one of the things I'm most excited about, if I see these for a good price, I got to buy them. And I have a pretty good knack with 89 upper deck. I've gotten boxes for $10 before within the last year. These ones were $5 a pack, buy five, get one free. There's 24 packs in there. So, and this is the low series of 1989 Upper Deck, the iconic set. Very excited about that. I am not going to open these for now. I'm going to keep them. I have almost a full box of them still sitting on a shelf. So, I am not going to touch those for now. These continue to rise in price. Um, you can get these for about 75 bucks, between 75 and 100 about a year ago. Now it seems they are closer to $300 for low series. So just keep going up. And that Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, the PSA 10 is at $1,500 now. A year ago it was $500. So it has tripled over the last year. So very excited about all of these vintage wax scores. I cannot wait to rip some of these open and see if we can find some of those awesome rookies. But um, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite thing I picked up was, what you are excited for coming up on the channel. And um, I will see you guys all next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great night, everybody.